Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. For each cases, find the function ft satisfying the given relation. The first problem is integral of ft from 0 to square root of x equals sine x for all real number x. And the second problem is integral of ft from 1 over x squared to 1 equals cube root of x minus 1 for all positive real number x. For the second problem, ft is defined on t greater than 0, because the interval of this definite integral can only cover the region where t is greater than 0. So this integral condition cannot give any information of the function ft where t is negative. And I will show you two very similar yet not quite the same methods. They both rely on the same fundamental theorem though. So the first problem, integral of ft from 0 to square root of x equals sine x. First, we need a notation for the antiderivative function. So let integral ft dt as capital letter ft. Then, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, the left-hand side can be expressed as capital letter f of square root of x minus capital letter f of 0. So this equals sine x. Now we differentiate both sides with respect to x, and we have to use chain rule for that. For the left hand side we have small f of square root of x, and by the chain rule we multiply the derivative of square root of x, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. And this minus f0 is just constant, so it gives 0. On the right hand side we have cosine x. Therefore we have f square root of x equals 2 square root of x cosine x. From here finding ft is easy. Let square root of x equals t, then x equals t squared, so we have ft equals 2t cosine t squared. For the second method, we simplify this square root of x part using substitution. That is, if we let square root of x as u, then x equals u squared, so we have integral from 0 to u, ft dt equals sine u squared. And then we differentiate both sides with respect to u. The reason why I used substitution first is because it simplifies the differentiation process on the left hand side, which just gives small f of u, which is also called the fundamental theorem of calculus. But now we have to differentiate slightly more complicated function on the right hand side, and by differentiating sine u squared using the chain rule, we have 2u cosine u squared. And this is essentially the function that we are looking for, so if we just change the variable from u to t, we have ft equals 2t cosine t squared. And now the second problem, integral ft dt from 1 over x squared to 1 equals cube root of x minus 1. In the first method, let integral of ft dt as capital letter ft. Then, capital letter F1 minus capital letter F of 1 over x squared equals cube root of x minus 1. Differentiating with respect to x, this constant F1 term just gives 0. Then we have minus small f 1 over x squared, and we multiply the derivative of 1 over x squared, which is minus 2 over x cubed. On the right hand side, we have one third x to the power of minus two thirds. So we have f of one over x squared times two over x cubed equals one third times x to the power of minus two thirds. So f of one over x squared equals, now we have one over six, then x to the power of minus two thirds plus three, so f1 over x squared equals 
one sixth x to the power of seven over three. Let one over x squared as t. Then, because we have a condition that x is positive, we have x equals one over positive square root of t, or t to the power of minus one half. So f t equals one sixth t to the power of minus one half to the power of seven over three, which gives one sixth times t to the power of minus seven over six. Here we can write it as f t equals one over six t to the power of seven over six, or using radicals, one over six times sixth root of t to the power of seven. And of course, t is positive because that was stated in the problem. And for the second method, you know what to do at this point. Let one over x squared as u. Then, given that x is positive, x equals one over positive square root of u, or u to the power of minus one half. Hence, the equation becomes integral from u to one. F t d t equals q root of u to the power of minus one half minus one for all positive number u, or you can write integral f t d t from u to one equals u to the power of minus one sixth minus one. Now we differentiate with respect to u. But we must be careful because now the interval is from u to one, so the derivative gives minus small f u on the left hand side because the left hand side is equal to capital letter f one minus capital letter f u by the antiderivative notation, and on the right hand side we have the derivative minus one sixth u to the power of minus seven over six. So replacing u with t. We have f t equals. We can write one over six t to the power of seven over six, or one over six times six root of t to the power of seven. And that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.